Yo, what is up, YouTube? Hope you guys, right there, you right there. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys uh, another informative video. It's going to be on Embracer of Radiance. People know it's good because I've heard pros talk about it. It's obviously got changed, I, I don't know, a month, two months ago now. But yeah, I'm just going to give you guys some information about it, why it's good, why it works, what to do with it, when, how, where, what bed. Mama bear, daddy bear, sun bear, eh, middle, top, middle, eve, bottom, stuff like that. I'll, I'll answer all of it. Don't even worry about it. So just to read it off first, place a radiant glow to target location for 90 seconds. Allies who move through this field gain 15% increased power. Oh, this is the upgraded. We'll, we'll start with the other one. Gain 10% increased power of above half health or 15% movement speed of below half health for 8 seconds. This fragment acts as a ward. If destroyed, the cooldown of the relic is reduced by 20 seconds and the cooldown is 100 seconds. So the first thing to look at, cooldown 100 seconds and it lasts for 90 seconds. So it's going to be off cooldown, unable to be used, unable to be anything with it for 10 seconds. And then it gives you 10% increased power of above half health, 15% movement speed of below half health for 8 seconds. So you go through it, you leave it, you have 8 seconds with that movement speed or that power. And if it's destroyed, it's reduced by 20 seconds. It's basically kind of like a comparison with Frenzy because it's supposed to be an objective thing or team fight thing which is kind of the same thing as fr uh frenzy it's increasing your power slash safety the reason that i actually think bracer radiance right now is super strong is because it's a another ward and it doesn't take up one of the two ward spots so with this ward you get three you're basically covering an extra one uh, i don't know how to describe it one choke point on the map that this allows and also if you're on an objective you can century ward that objective when it's upgraded and then it also gives you 15 percent power and you can see if there's any of the enemy wards on it that you can destroy. The actual output DPS is less than Frenzy. So if you want to burn an objective, like you want that objective dead as quick as possible, upgraded Frenzy is still slightly better. It's giving you 10% increased damage to all targets, 50% uh, attack speed, and 10 pen for 8 seconds. That's absolutely insane, and you shred objectives when you have this. However, this one lasts for 90 seconds. So if you place it down on that objective... You can pull and drop and pull and drop, pull and drop. And if they come in too far, you're still having that extra 15% power. And then if somebody, your ADC, your support gets low, they get that extra 15% movement speed. They then get out of dodge, try to live. And that 15% should not be understated. That's a lot of movement speed to be able to run around with and to be able to avoid abilities with it. Also, if they don't have a dash and you don't have a dash or you have a dash and they have a dash, you just have an extra 15% movement speed. So you're going to outrun them if they don't kill you with a CC or something like that. Another thing, the sentry thing is a massive, massive thing. Also, they can't place wards in that area when your Bracer of Radiance is down. When it comes to upgrading it, it's not something you need to rush the upgrade with. But the upgrade is significantly better because it acts as a sentry ward, which is that much better. Like if you compare how much a ward costs to a sentry ward... It is one and a quarter times more expensive. So its value is almost one and a quarter times extra. That means if you use this relic four times, you're getting a lot of value out of that. You're getting an extra century four times. And you're also getting this movement speed, this power. So it's insane in that spot also. I'm now comparing it first and second slot. Like I just said, it has good value even in the early game. 10% power, while not great. 15% movement speed in a 2v2 or... While you're trying to run away, we're on a team fight on Run of Gold Fury, it's going to be insane. It makes you harder to kill. It's basically a sprint that you can use that doesn't make them immune to slow, so it's not exactly the same thing. But you can kind of just place this down. If your team is losing the fight, you just get that extra percent movement speed and you just run away. Especially in the early game, when there's not that much damage, that much CC, you die kind of slowly. This Bracer of Radiance could save your life a lot of times. Right now, it's better in the laning phase than like a regular shell um, a regular med. Uh, Horrific is still a better actual 2v2 item if you get this onto both of them because it's reducing their movement speed and their attack speed, uh, which is actually insane and should should still be looked at as a very good option, but uh, sticking with Bracer. It's a very good 2v2 item, but it is mostly for late game slash objectives fights. So while the value is there early game, it is definitely strongest when it's upgraded and in the late game. However, it is still strong in the early game. And if you look at how weak most relics are right now, until like this new patch, which is coming up, which I'll bring out a video on that also, where they're all getting like cooldown buffs and, and everything. We'll talk about all that later. But right now, there's really only like four relics you're seeing started, and it's Beads, Blink, Bracer, and maybe sometimes a Sunder or a Horrific, so I guess five. That is all. And if you look at how much value they have, 
Blink's got decent value, gives you some engage. Beats, good value, keeps you alive. Sunder's value isn't there much anymore. Horrific kind of falls off when you can't get a massive one in the late game, a massive uh, Horrific off in the late game. But Bracer's always having value. So a lot of people you'll see, if they are not going beads, will try to start this Bracer Radiance. However, sometimes you're going to need that beads, that blink, and then you can go the Bracer second. So basically, how do you use it? Place it on objectives in the late game. In the early game, the laning phase, just place it in your lane. Give yourself that extra power, that extra movement speed to get away from these fights or to fight, take these fights. But yeah, it's really not much harder than that. You, it's not really a ward that you're going to use deep in their jungle because it's value that you want beyond just the vision. It's that movement speed, that power. So place it kind of on your side of the map, maybe right on top of your mage in mid lane. In the laning phase, place it there. Bottom right, if you're pathing bottom right a lot. Stuff like that. You just kind of place it where you feel like your team is going to be a lot and where vision is necessary. The last thing I guess I'll touch on is Relic Dagger with it. This is a 100 second cooldown with Relic Dagger. Just to pull it up for you guys. 40 second cooldown reduction on Relics. Putting this down to... 60 seconds so you can technically have two of these out at the same time and they don't get rid of the other one so you could for 30 seconds have four sentry wards out i guess three sentry wards and actually technically yeah you could have four sentry wards out with two bracer of radiance upgrades and two actual centuries so yeah that that's just the strength of uh bracer of radiance hope you guys learned a little bit from this video if you guys got any more questions about it just ask away i feel like i touched on a lot of stuff but obviously there's questions you guys have I'd love to answer them, give you guys more information on this relic. That video about all these other relics will be coming out when I do play a couple games with them because I don't want to just be like, oh, extra cooldown on med. That's going to be good, but not tell you guys how it actually feels because something can look good, but not be good slash feel good, if you know what I mean. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe leave a comment, like, make sure you guys are subscribed. We'll see you again next time.